Hello everyone, it's Steph here and I've got your sticky situation challenge. So for this challenge we're going to make um, basically a card that's going to look like this with this cute little sort of extra 3D envelope on top and then if you do want to level up um, you can add in a little pocket like very similar to the one that we made last challenge and that's pretty much it so I'll take you through how to make it. All right let's get started. So for this you're going to need obviously some sticker sheets that you'll be gifting so probably best to pick them out first just in case you want to um, make your envelope a particular size. Um, you'll need a ruler, I like double sided sticky tape but you can use glue if you prefer, scissors, something to score with so that could be just your ruler, um, maybe a coin might work, a pen and a pencil as well plus some cards. So I've got three sheets of card, oh scissors um but yeah you can maybe just use one piece of card or whatever works best now firstly i've got a template which i'll give everyone and i'm going to actually use so i've got this scrapbooking paper which is too big to go through the printer but so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to use um this color will be my little pocket so that little pocket there and then this will be the card Hopefully I'm in the scene there. Um, okay, so I am going to do a little bit of a hack job because obviously this paper here is too big to go through the printer. So I am just going to, this is A4 paper, but obviously use whatever size you use in your country. I'm just going to measure it around. Oop. I could use a ruler for this obviously, but it's just to do a very rough guide so I can put this through the printer and I'm just going to cut it out. I'm just going to use my bigger scissors for this. So I'll send it through the printer now and I will come back. Okay I'm back so this is the template that I've provided and as you can see there's a few different sizes here that you can pick from so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to measure out um, the card size I want. So I'm going to, this is, this bit here is going to be my card. I'll just move these out of the way for now. Now I want the card to fit in these size sticker sheets. So this is just going to be totally all done by eye. Nothing very scientific about the way I work. Actually, I might use this corner over here, it's a bit neater. So I ripped it from the pad. Okay, so we're going to make them um, rule it around here. So that will fit them in. Of course, I have to double this. Okay, so that gives me a bit of an idea of the size. And now I'll just double this. So that's about 13. So we'll just add an extra 13 centimeters. Cute. Pencil marks on there. I'm going to use my big scissors to cut this out. It's probably a little, <laughs> I think it's a bit skew if there, but anyway, I will sort that. These scissors are a touch blunt. Now, we've got this is our center line. We want this is where we want to use something to score with. So pretty much anything that's got a really good kind of well, this doesn't have a sharp end, but just a, a bit of an edge. So you can use the tip of your ruler if that's what you've got available. Even here, I've got like a washi tape cutter. I'm sure that edge would work really well. But I have this, so I'll use this. And this will be really game changing and helping you just fold things easily. So we can now fold over the card. Okay, so it is a bit skew if, but I can trim that, that's fine. And my stickers are going to fit in there perfectly. So 
I'm sure you'll all do a much neater job of making sure it all lines up perfectly. I'm not. A particularly meticulous crafter. Anyway, there you have a pretty decent card at least. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to pick one of these to go on the front. This one is actually probably a nice size. It might be a little bit too big be cuter but uh, let's go with this one so I'm just going to cut this out now so now I've got this cut out so don't worry too much about these dark lines they will be covered um, but this top line here as well Oh, sorry. Yeah, that one will be covered, but it's probably more this bit here, which you really probably don't want showing through. So, oop. I did have it neat, but anyway. <laughs> okay, now we're also going to just score these edges here. Oh, pressed too hard. It's gone through. Okay. Right, and this one here. Okay, now I just fold it up. I'll fold these first as well. Now you have the choice, you can have these edges here tucked in, so it could be a bit neater, but I do like the look of it on the outside. I think it looks quite sweet. A bit more envelopey. So it does buckle a bit. Might You could give that a little bit of a trim if you wanted to, but I think that's fine. So I'll get my double-sided sticky tape now and I'm going to stick down these little sides here. Excellent. Okay. So that oh, will go there. Cool. Okay. Next. So I'm going to use this. This is probably maybe a little bit too clashing. It looked better on my head. But this is going to be for the little card that goes and sits inside here. So again, I'm just going to do this by eye. So this is just going to sit like that, really, put it that way, kind of position it first where you want it. I would like it on a bit of an angle, I think it just looks a bit more fun. Um, and now I'm going to stick down this first, just to make it easier. Like it on that angle like that, and that will go sort of like that. So I'll put tape down on this first. You can decorate the card first with stickers, but I think it's okay not to. Yeah. All right. So that is that bit made. Now, I'm going to uh, decorate it with the stickers. So, well, these are the ones I'm going to decorate it with, but I did also use this as my guide to fit inside. So, it's very rainy here in Sydney at the moment, so I did want some. Mm, that was kind of fun for the rain. Um, I'm also going to add, just for a little fun effect, this little stitching kind of look, which you don't have to add, but I think it looks kind of cute. You just do it by eye. Ta-da!
ta-da. Now, if you wanted to, you could also do a stitching around here. I'm going to do it. It's not going to be great. Because it's just by hand. But, well, anyway, that's fine. I think it's sweet. Okay. I'm also going to put a little message along here first. Um... I have run out of ease. Ah, what will my message be? I'm going to pretend. Uh, oh, what's a name I can do? Um, I'll do the name Lisa, why not? Because I have those letters. I'll pretend it's for someone called Lisa. But you could put, like on this one, I put, hello there. But yeah, whatever you like. Naturally. Okay, I'll start decorating this. So I'm going to pop umbrellas inside. Have them poke out. Maybe some little flowers poking out as well. That work there. Mm. Okay, so that's all done now. So you can see that it's got a cute little three D effect. Um, of course, you can put stuff in there if you want to. Now. This next bit is optional, it's an optional level up, but that is sort of putting a pocket inside where you can put in stickers and stuff as well. So, and I also decorated the back as well, which you can do too. Okay, to make the pocket, so this is exactly the same process as we did in the last challenge. Oops, just bang everything around. Um, I'll use this end. So I'm just going to do this by eye as well. So I know I want the pocket to kind of be around maybe this tall. So I'll mark it off there and just like about a centimetre-ish extra. Oh, actually, we need more space down here too. So I might, I'm going to score this edge first actually. Just so I can sort of work out the next bit. Okay, so if that sits there. Good guide. So I'm going to want to really make the next score around there and there. Chop off these corners. Okay, now optionally, if you do want to add a little bit of a. Um, oh, did I even score them? Yes. So that will be 
stuck. Voila, probably made it a little too wide, I think. I think that's going to show through, but anyway, you get the idea. Um, I'm going to make just a little bit of a nice edge, which you don't have to do, but I just got this big shape here. Again, scientifically just not measuring it, of course. But just as a guide. Just check, is that going to show through? It does a little bit, which I don't really mind, but that's better not. But okay, I will stick this down now. And voila! There you have. Now, obviously, you can decorate this. You put your stickers in there. Obviously, you don't give them your half used ones. But that's it. And then you can put your name on the back. My friends call me Spiffy, so made by Spiffy. Um, and there you have it. That's your cute little challenge. I hope you enjoy this one. Bye!